that was Son of a Gun off their brand new album called Cosmic Whirlwind. And uh, they said that up to me. So a big thank you to Dez and Liz uh, uh, from Blue Foos. And uh, it's a great album. I haven't put a review up on it yet, but I will very, very soon. But I really enjoyed it. And uh, Son of a Gun uh, is a great tune. And I'm pretty sure uh, uh, Dez said this was, uh, I think, possibly the first single off the album. But either way, great tune, loved it. I just love the the, the guitar work to it, man. Like great tune, like great chill, but like really catchy at the same time. That is right up my street. It's like got that proper um, uh, kind of. I love the kind of octave riff thing that it does, which I think is really solid. I love the drums and the way they kind of pounce all the way through uh, and then well punch all the way through almost and I, I just I absolutely love it I think it's a fantastic I think it's like it's a little bit kind of 50s horror creepy and a little bit proper rock and roll do you know what I mean oh no no it makes sense makes sense for sure yeah you know making sense oh yes <laughs> uh, <laughs> always happen well, especially in part two <laughs> oh, oh please <laughs> <laughs> no it's great I absolutely yeah. enjoy it's brilliant track. Uh, uh. So check this out. Um, we didn't get all the way through it, but uh, not last week, but a couple weeks ago, uh, Kim and I were watching uh, the Holy Grail because she'd never seen it before. So we got halfway through. It was a later night, so we not we nodded off. No big deal, right? But she 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 can dig a faulty towers, but not so much into Holy Grail. Granted, we didn't finish it, but uh, I I think I can change her mind. I I agree. I I think we can check. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, Forty Towers is the greatest sitcom ever written and performed, in my opinion. Oh, for sure. With no exception. <clears throat> but The Holy Grail is awesome. Everyone loves yeah. that. Well, you know what? I was thinking, because I got, I got a picture of uh, of uh, John Cleese on set. He's in, in his Lancelot uniform, and he's reading the newspaper because he's waiting for his time to go on, right? <laughs> so... I, I I brought the fact when uh, he went uh, he went uh, well he thought it was a woman but it was a man the guy who said the letter and then at the very end when he's, when he's trying to kind of kind of gracefully kind of get away he's like can someone give me a push maybe a little shove <laughs> he, he can just kind of gracefully kind of barely swinging back and forth or when he go when he goes to get Galahad and he's like no no it's way too paradise. <laughs> 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 So next up, we have a band called Bamboo Vipers, and this one is called Silent Boots. Do this. <laughs>
see we had ghost tester today. Same. See we had ghost tester today. Oh yeah, man, jokesta. Yeah, I said jokesta. You're like, what? What? So what? You are what? Sad, she says she never be alive. 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 She says she Bamboo Vipers with a wow, well, with a Silver Boots man. That was an awesome tune, like very rock and roll, but it had that kind of uh, indie punk sound to it as well. But great tune, loved it, man. Like very, very catchy. I thought that was brilliant. Yeah, it's like proper punk through and through, but it's got a nice little bit of um, uh, like reminds me of the Datsuns, you know, the way the kind of riffs kind of build and stuff like that. Right. It's got that kind of vibe. So it's like you know, I suppose you could. With post punk, and it? But it's, you know, it's that kind of punky fuse with like rock and awesomeness. Yeah, it's great. It's a really cool tune. I love that. Right on. Well, we're going to throw next tune in just one moment here because, um, for some reason, oh, there we go. Because my Mac is going to be just a little bit slow, but it's all right. So we're uh, good to go here. So our next song up, next song up is a brand new Manipulant song. This is off his new uh, EP Perspective. This one's called Sands. Dig this.
Right on. That was manipulant with Sands from a zoo EP perspective. That was a badass tune, man. I really love the beats and the, and the, and the mixings of that one. That was like really.